it's been about four months since I moved to Colorado and now my new studio space is 100% set up. Everything is built and ordered. So everything is finally put together and organized and put away where it should be. So I'm gonna show you guys how I made my teeny tiny one bedroom apartment super functional for my business so that I didn't have to get a two bedroom. So I won't make the intro super long, um, but we'll get straight into it. I have my studio split up into two halves. So this side is the logistical side and then this side is where I get to be creative. So this cart is on the logistical half of my studio and I keep my printers on here as well as um, I have my calendar up there and my pegboard where I keep my keychains and my pins. So on the left I keep all of my shipping supplies as well as my sticker paper and my label paper. Um, and then I have drawers on the cart as well. On the top I keep photo paper and random things and then I also keep more packaging stuff in here and I keep my podcast equipment and my mailing scale. And then in the next drawer I have just a bunch of random stuff um, that doesn't really have a home. And then the bottom is just regular printer paper. I keep all my ink cartridges tucked away um, for when I need them so that they're out of my workspace. And then this is the workspace. <laughs> so um, on the top here I have more packaging stuff and vinyl and I keep all my totes on the side. All of my envelopes, sketchbooks, and um, cutting mats stay up here and then I have my, um, my print wrapping stuff, my little station up here. And then I got this awesome light from Ikea so that I don't have to have a light sitting on my desk. 10 out of 10 would recommend if you're crunched for space. These are my sticker drawers. I want to get wall mounted ones, but I basically just chuck anything that shouldn't be on my desk on top of these drawers. And then I have my lovely Cricut. Although it is dusty, it does get a lot of use still. Um, I've almost outgrown it, but not quite yet. And this is my wonderful podcast microphone that I'm actually recording on right now. Um, and then in this center section, we have my drying rack slash plant rack slash whatever I need it to be. <laughs> so right now my trays are drying on it that I just put on the original restock. This pegboard is my favorite part of the studio. I used shower curtain rings and attached the tubes to them and it looks super cute um, and I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> I have art hung from some friends from art school and then this is where I store all of the paint and the goods. Um, so I have my acrylic paint over here and then I keep my like varnishes and basically all my other bottles of stuff, as well as my fabric paint, um, things like that up in this bin. Clearly I am outgrowing it, as you can see, but we have some Poscas, some resin, some varnish, soap, washi tape, basically anything that will fit. And I still have my trusty Otlite. I've had it for, what, five years now? Um, and it still hasn't died on me, and I swear by it. And then back here is where I kind of tuck away my spray bottle for my gouache and my brushes and my sad paper towel roll that needs to be replaced. Um, and then over here I keep bullet journal stuff as well as I keep my watercolor brushes separate. Don't know why. Um, but I have my tape for my sketchbooks, things like that, that stay over there. So the bottom two shelves of this desk are a mess. They need organizers, but it just isn't like a necessity for me right now because this is where I keep my sketchbook paper, my gouache. <laughs> it's it's so sad. Um, and then I have my wonderful meat and easel, which I also swear by. And I love it. And luckily, my apartment came with a huge shelved closet. And I would not be able to do this without it. Um, so this is where I keep all of like my inventory and stuff like that. The bottom is air mattresses, woo. And then I keep extra stationery down there as well as weightlifting stuff and extra wood. And then all my journals are kept there as well as my extra stickers that I outsource for wholesale orders. And then the top is kind of miscellaneous. Um, I have my postcards for the national park set up there, all my extra ones my embroidery stuff that I have never fully unpacked, and prints that were like printed incorrectly. And then the top is all of my um, like photo paper, extra packaging stuff that I just don't have room for to put outside. Um, and yeah, so I have like one more sketchbook back here, a lot of little canvases that I've been waiting for a project for, extra vinyl, extra ink, um, extra resin, and extra canvases. So. 
that brings the 2021 um, studio tour to an end. Things will definitely look a lot different next year, um, so I can't wait to do an update. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I'll put links to all the stuff down in the bottom.